Hello, my Sagittarius and Sagittarius rising friends. Sana from ForYourTree.com. We're here today to do six houses out of 12, January 2022, here on YouTube. I'm going back to my old ways of doing this, which is six houses for free here on YouTube. Se houses 7 through 12 will be in the extended, which is now on Patreon. And yes, it is a subscription. However, I'm making it very affordable for everyone. Tier 1 will get the yearly readings, all 12 signs. Tier 2 will get the yearly readings plus the monthly extended readings, houses 7 through 12, all 12 signs. So you guys can watch for your, uh, whoever you cross watch for. And then tier, my special tier 3 people will get me live at least once a month depending on what's going on and what messages that I am supposed to deliver that month. And then of course for even bigger VIP people, I'm allowing those people to ask a personal question via email and I will answer. But let's get to your first house here, Satch. Now, memories of love. We've just had the holidays. You may be reminiscent of family when your family life was different. Um, you also, we have Venus retrograde. You could be reminiscing of a relationship past. This could be an ex that grazes your past. You could hear from them. Now, you did pull Archangel Raphael, which talks about a healing here. For those of you who are feeling a little under the weather or you have an ailment going on, you could experience a healing at this time, which is a blessing. Archangel Raphael is a great sign here to have in your first house. Now, as far as your money or your stuff, you have Sacral Shocker, which talks about a desire. You have a heavy desire here for something. You know, maybe it's to keep up with the Joneses. I mean, I'm kind of, it's a joke, but not really. There's something that you want out there, Sag, okay? Now, you could be experiencing somewhat of a burnout because the angel Teresa talks about taking care of yourself. Sag, it's important not to run yourself into the ground at the beginning of the year. You do need some time to rest and rejuvenate, and that does mean dare I say it, going to bed earlier. Sorry. Don't shoot the messenger here with the bow and arrow, Sag. Looking out for you. I'm married to a Sag. Okay. Third house, Firm Foundations. This is for your sibling. They have laid the foundation for what they're going to do next. They have been through the trenches in a certain area of their life. This could be their career this could be their family life, their home life. Um, what are they going to do next here? They haven't decided. It's time for them to take time out and meditate about what they're going to do next. Now, the fourth house is heavy. I'm going to warn you. Fourth house represents your home, where you currently live. For others of you, this is going to be talking about your mother. Transition means major change. This could be a major change with your home. For those of you Sages that aren't moving or you're not planning to move, this could be a change in the people that you live with. Out with the old, in with the new. You could have uh, grown children who are fleeing the nest or they could, if they fled the nest, they could be coming back at this time in January. Um, this could also mean a major change with your mother. How is your relationship with your mother? Have you reached out to her lately? You may want to do that, Sag. Okay. Now you got Indrio, which is talking about you are a light worker. The bottom of this card says the divine needs you to shine your light at this time on this earth and upon all of its inhabitants. Yes, this is talking about a sole purpose for you 
but I feel like I need to remind my Sages that they are very important this life. They are very important people this lifetime. You have been strategically placed here where you're at right now in order to uplift certain people. Yes, that includes members of your family. This includes your children for those of you that have children. It includes your friends. And sometimes it includes and co-workers but sometimes let's face it and it includes complete strangers you see someone and I'm just giving you an example an elderly person who is struggling on the side of the road changing a tire and you are the kind of sag that can change tires and you stop by to help them I'm just telling you the vision that I'm getting right now as I read this card that could be, doesn't have to be changing a tire though, right? It could be helping a shorter person reach something on a higher shelf at a grocery store. The, the point is that you have a lot of gifts, talents, and abilities that the rest of the 11 signs don't have. And it is important for you to be a way shower to others. And that includes younger people and older people. Because not everyone can do this, Sag. It's a very important, you play a very important role in this lifetime. Okay. I don't think I've ever given Sag such a serious talk about who they really are. Write that one in your journal, Sag. Okay. Fifth house, harmony. This is great for those of you Sagges that are dating because this rules your dating life, the fifth house. It also rules your social circle, your friend networking. Warm and fuzzy feelings is what the harmony card represents. I love it. Now you did pull mystique, which talks about do not take no for an answer. In a good way. Not a mean way, Sag. We're not trying to force people to do things that they don't want to do. But I see you like maybe poking fun of someone who doesn't want to hang out with you. Um, in a teasing, lovingly way. Okay. The bottom of this card says, expect a miraculous solution to appear. So, you know, what's coming to my mind right now is the movie Ferris Bueller. And Cameron and Ferris, right? And so you're Ferris, obviously, because you're the fun one, the fun Sag. But you have a friend who's a Cameron. And you call them up and you say, uh, do you want to hang out tonight? And they're like, oh, I can't. I can barely talk on the phone. And you know that it's bullshit. They just don't want to leave the house, right? And so you hang up the phone and then you start texting them, you know, later on. So where are we meeting tonight? <laughs> and you're, you're kind of, you know, what is nine o'clock? Okay. Nine o'clock works for me. And you just keep this texting back and forth. And finally at the end, Cameron gives in and they just show up and you guys have a grand time, right? It's so funny. Sixth house, work and health, stand your ground. Now, interestingly, Scorpio's got this in the sixth house. If you have any Scorpio, Scorpio rising in your chart, I would definitely go watch the Scorpio. So this talks about you standing up for yourself at work, Sag. For the majority of you, for others of you, this could be talking about you standing up for your own medical situation. Um, and what I mean by that is there could be a doctor that's trying to put you on a medicine and you've taken it before and you've, you can't tolerate it and you need to go back and get a new medicine or you need to get a second opinion. It's not medical advice. This is just life as it is right now. Okay. We always have to get a second opinion. I feel like right now or try something else that's not working. If it's not working, it's not working. Right, Sag? Isabella, though, is here to say that the timing is correct for you to stand up for, to whatever this is. And the majority of you, it's something about your work, right? 
because you are correct in how you're thinking about it or how you feel about it or what you feel like is the right thing to do. You are correct. These two cards are echoing that message. The bottom of the Isabella card says, the timing is right for this new venture and a happy outcome follows your positive expectations. Okay, so we are through the six houses here on YouTube. If you would like to follow me in the extended houses seven through 12, where we look at your relationship, your sex life, your career, your trip and your school, um, for those of you that have that going on, your children and your best friends and your future card, then follow me in the description box below. But before we go, we're going to look at who is showing up in your house of relationships. We have two sword cards and swords are the air signs aqua libra and gemini we also have the knight of cups here sagittarius cancer and pisces are here for you see you in the extended sag if not see you next time many blessings